Hello. So today is brought to you by probably one of the most hated videos I'll ever do in all of fighting games because this design of character I truly, truly have hatred for. Um, this is kind of developed over time as I've continued to play MK11 and learn fighting games fundamentally. And I'll quickly explain why I don't like this development in this game compared to other fighting games. So first thing is, I'm not a huge fan of 50-50s to start with. Um, at least 50-50s where your character is just, the 50-50 is just tacked on to the character. So for example, a character like Terminator and a character like Shiva, they have 50-50s, but their neutral is not very good. They don't have very good buttons, they don't have very good range, they don't have very good special moves outside of like Terminator's Teleport and Shiva's Dragon Stance. They're not going to be getting in with, usually, you know, they're not going to be getting in. Terminator's kind of an exception. He's a little bit weird because you still have to guess off the teleport, so like you can punish him for using it, but um, that's for a whole nother day. The whole point is they don't, they, their own buttons don't really contend very well in neutral. In Sub Zero, is the complete epitome opposite of this. So I'm just gonna quickly go over Sub-Zero's buttons and I'm gonna explain why there's a huge lapse in how characters play compared to like characters like Sub-Zero and Garrus and Kotal and I'll, I'll explain them too in a minute. So the first thing is Sub-Zero has 11 frame slide that you, you pretty much, I mean, it, you're not reacting to this. Like, you have to guess from almost full screen. Look at that. Look how far this slide comes. Look how, look, look how far it goes. Look how far it goes. You just have to be ready for that in the neutral. Um, He could do it from here. Travels faster. And yeah, it, it, it's ridiculous. It's it's it cont it makes his neutral ridiculous. It basically forces like it puts you in this situation where you're just gonna be blocking things like forward four, and you know if he does like ice axe or something. I don't think this variation has ice axe, but he can mix it up between his ice axe and complement his neutral very well. So that is the main reason I really hate Sub Zero. I hate Sub Zero not because of his 50 50. His 50 50 is actually fine. I don't mind the 50 50. What I don't like is that I have to guess the 50 50 from mid screen. He could just dash up and fucking hit me with it because I'm sitting there crouch blocking his goddamn low the whole fucking game. And in before anyone like i'm sorry like every single player who plays sub-zero in combat league dude you are doing yourself a huge disservice playing this character because you are not learning neutral you are not learning how to play footsies you're you're just not this character is not teaching you how to do that and the big giveaway to me and i always tell people this is when the sub-zero player does this and they don't hit confirm it because what that means is they haven't they haven't paid attention because you can do it like you just do obviously it's gonna be hard at first because I'm not used to it there you go like you just practice it and I missed it there but you just practice it and eventually you'll get it down and eventually you'll be able to add this in right so and then you can get your down one in but like you just practice it. I can tell like these Sub Zero players, they 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 pick the character, they hopped on Combat League, they never practiced any of the fundamentals of the character, and they just mix. And I'm sorry if you like that, fine, go play MKX because I do not think that Mortal Combat has been designed to play like that. I don't think that that's what they had in mind with this specific game. And MK11 is my favorite one. Like, I don't think they thought, oh, w this guy, you know, you don't have to worry about hit confirming. You don't have to worry about neutral. Fuck it. Fuck all that. Just do overhead low. Fuck it. Like, fuck it. Because that, I'm sorry, that's what this is. Like, it doesn't, you can, you can pull the wool over my eyes all you want. You can tell me, oh, well, if you block the slide, you get a full combo. You know, oh, if you block the overhead, you get a full combo. Bro, you cannot trick me, man. I know 
that the reason why this is so powerful is because you are sitting there crouch blocking the slide and then the player knows you're gonna crouch block the slide. They know you're crouch blocking in the neutral because you don't wanna get hit by a slide. So they get free jump ins, they get the forward to you because they know you're crouching. Like it is not as simple as 50-50. Now the issue with it is when you get hit by the 50-50, it feels like a 50-50. Every single time it feels like you're just getting hit because you have to guess. And that's the problem with the character. It would be different if I'm playing against Term and Term is in and I can't guess shit because it's like, oh, well, shit. Like he's in, I have to guess. And it's, it's a 33, 33, 33. I have to guess, but it's not like that. It's like you're, you're stuck in crouch block in the neutral and Sub-Zero is doing whatever the fuck he wants. And then on top of that, you can't even throw, like if I'm Katana, I can't even throw low fans because fuck it, Sub has an ice ball, and in some variations he has an ice ball that just eats my fan. So I can't zone him, you know, I can't do anything. Like the only character I have found that does very well is uh, Noob Saibot because Noob Saibot has slide and slide counters sub slide. So like in a way, like it counters, but it's, it's still not very good because the sub player can just pick pick the ice axe and he's still going to be winning the neutral like I, I don't think you guys understand how good subs neutral is like yes the slide can be punished but the threat of the slide is what keeps people on crouch block they don't give a fuck like there's been times i've been slided and i get meaty slided because like i forget like the slide goes full screen like i actually don't have control over my oki i have to crouch block so I, I just don't like the design of this character. I, I don't I hope NRS never designs a character like this again. I am being robbed. I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says. This is where I disagree. Like I you can lab Cetrion, you can lab Jackie because you can always take throws with those characters. And I will always say this. You can't lab 50 50. You just can't. The only thing that I've learned that you can do against Sub-Zero is that you can mash in certain situations where he's plus. If he's more plus than you, then mashing is an option. But um, just because like, for example, like here's a, here's a good example. So like, you know, if sub does this and that's like plus four, well, you want to mash there because if he doesn't down one, then you have a chance of getting out of the four two because like if sub does like four four and then goes straight into four two, you can down one him out of it, right? So you want to force him to down one because once the down one game starts, what's gonna happen is he's gonna do this, down one, and then you can block the down one, and now it's your turn. See what I'm saying? Or, you know, if you wanna forego all that, you can hold up. Oops, so. Oh, I didn't do it. So people miss time, wow. I didn't even know that. People miss time they're down one. That's crazy. That's how bad people are with this character. Look at that. They miss time they're down one. That's what that means. Because I'm getting jailed. Or maybe I'm not. Hold on. Maybe it's if I hold up. No, yeah. They miss time it. Wow. That's crazy. So they didn't even people didn't even spend the time to to properly jail their down one off of forward four that is that is very very interesting i didn't even know that but anyway yeah see that that just proves to me like no one even like like goes to the lab with this character they just hop online and they they steal wins because the character robs 24 7 with pretty much everything he has so i don't know man like it's just it's one of those things like I just don't know why they designed this character like why like why can he do stuff like down four slide like I just don't get it like how can you make a character like Frost and then make a character like this like Frost is so well designed right and Sub-Zero is just like nah dude fuck it you know, we get to do whatever we want in the neutral. Like, I just don't... 
I don't understand, like, Frost clearly has a range that is bad, but then Sub has none. Like, it's just, I don't know, man, it's so weird. And I guess that finally, that finally goes on to my next point. The ultimate problem with this game really comes down to the down 2kb mechanic. Uh, at least strike throw wise, and let me quickly explain why. So characters like Sub-Zero, Garrus, Kotal, the reason why they're good is because you still have to make hard reads in situations where your opponent is super plus. So for example, the reason why people don't down 2kb those characters, same thing with Liu Kang. Liu Kang's a little bit different because he has kbs, so like people are afraid of getting counter hit. But other characters, they don't they don't run into this uh, this advantage. And a good example is um, Frost. So today, I was playing Frost, and I was doing stuff like down one, two, two, right? And um, the thing that I kind of realized was so there's a problem with down one, two, two. People can uh, they can mash down two. Well, they can't mash down two if you're if you jail it. But like, let's say you delay it and you just do two two, right? Well, even if that was a, th let's say they're reading a throw. If they read a throw and they down two KB you, like they were just reading a throw. They just happened to down two KB a high, and that's kind of the problem with this game. The problem with this game is that when you do a high, trying to pressure, trying to change up your pressure, they could just do a down two KB and you're dead. And basically what this game ends up coming down to is a lot of characters are stuck doing mid or throw because of the down 2kb mechanic. Because the down 2kb does 300 minimum, even if I break, like let's say I break knowing that I might get down 2kb trying to pressure. Well, they can do 300 minimum in any situation. So you end up in this situation where you like, and people always, they always, they're like, dude, you flow chart your, like people tell me this all the time. Oh, you flow chart your offense, you flow chart your offense. Well, the reason why is because if I don't do throw and I don't do mid, anytime I do a high, it's a huge risk because I'm just doing a high to change up my pressure. But the thing is, all they have to do is down to KB in that situation. And I'm dead. I played a Kung Lao player that did this. Like he would just down 2KB when he thought I was going to do a high or a throw. And then, or down 2 in general. He, he would just, I mean, even then, like down 2 for a high is like a pretty good option. So he would do that. Or he would, um, he would block, right? He'd block the mid. So like I was literally just playing a game of mid and, and, throw now there are some options here right like if you read your opponent is going to do a down 2kb you can duck it in time right you could do something like that but like at that point like i love frost i love how she plays i like the fact that she can anti her a lot of characters can't in this game i love that she can do that and that's one of the main reasons i like her i also like her design her design is really good for putting her your opponent in the corner so I like all that stuff, but the thing is, like, why wouldn't you choose a Kotal? Why wouldn't you choose a Garrus? Why wouldn't you choose a Sub-Zero? You know? And even then, like, maybe it's better to choose someone like Liu Kang. You know, at least Liu Kang. You know, Liu Kang's hitting for around Frost damage, but the difference is Liu Kang gets all these KBs. You know? So, like, people are, like, actually afraid to press on Liu Kang, because if they do, they're gonna die. You know, they're going to die to the KB. So, like, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. You know, I, I like the idea of, like, getting good at walkdowns. I think that'll help you in the long run in fighting games because, you know, I've been listening to the other videos. And other videos have said how, like, doing nothing on plus frames and, like, baiting out opponents' buttons are important. So, I get that. But, like, on the other end, it's just, like, why wouldn't I just choose someone with a mid-command grab, you know? So, when I get down 2 I'm not getting down to kb for a throw, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just weird. It's just really weird. This game's always been weird to me. Like, I don't understand why the down twos are safe. Like, and very easy fix to this would be, like, to treat a down two like, like a DP, you know? Make them unsafe. So, you know, if I do, like, two two and I walk and then I block it, I get a free punish, you know? 
I don't know. I don't know what their design was making down to safe. I, I don't. I still don't understand that. I just. I don't know. I have no idea why they 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 came up with that decision. So. But anyway, I figured I would share that. I hate Sub Zero. I hate Sub Zero, and I hate. Uh, there's one character I hate a little bit more than Sub. But it's just because she literally defies all the laws of neutral. Like, you you can't, you literally can't keep them out. But Sub-Zero is up there for sure. Sub-Zero is, like, in second place for my most hated character. When I see him picked on the character select screen, I know that the player is not good at the game. It's not... And the, and the thing is, like, people will tell me, well, you play Noob Saibot. Well, the difference between Noob Saibot and Sub-Zero is Noob Saibot doesn't have a half-screen slide. He has a mid-screen slide, and you can jump it and full combo punish him for it. Sub, this is what happens when you you, you read sub. I mean, I guess you could do something like that. But that's like... I mean, he could just anti-air you for that. So, like, I mean, you could jump this way, but... I actually need to start doing something like that. But yeah, like, there's not... Like, you should, like look, you're just not gonna get a punish here. So, I, I don't know, man. I say, in the next game, if they want... If we had a game just like MK11... And it would be MK12, and the characters would be similarly designed. I would say that Sub Zero, he needs his slide needs to be like 20 frames or something. It needs to be slow. Like it needs to be like you're using it as a read to punish something. The fact that it is 11 frames is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. And this motherfucker has a KB on it. Like I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. People want characters like this, by the way. Just saying. People want characters like Sub-Zero. They like MKX-like characters. So just, just keep that in mind. Like, you guys are ready for the next game? You want characters like this? Have fun. I'm done with MK, if that's the case. I, I can't. I'm not going to play MK just because it's MK. I hated MKX. I think MKX is one of the worst designed fighting games of all time. I don't like the design of it. Um, I do think it was better pre-patch. At least everyone had some dirt, kind of like King of Fighters. Everyone has dirt in King of Fighters. But the, the, fact, the fact that Sub-Zero plays like this just makes him stand out and look like an idiot, really. And it makes, it makes everyone else look like an idiot who plays him. Because he's not playing MK11. He's just not. Like, you can do shit like... Like, look at this, man. Like... I have people do this, by the way. And, and ranked. So you know what Frost has to do here? She has to walk up and block after hitting him. And then, th this is something else that happens to me too, right? That shit happens. Where I wait, I don't, I haven't waited long enough for him to forward team me, right? There we go. Gotta wait a little bit longer so I can get forward too, right? Oops. Yeah, it's just fucking annoying, man. Guessing from mid screen is not fun and stupid and very horrible design for a character. Um, especially when the slide opens up his KB, um, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> and I want to stress this again, the reason why Noob is a better design is because with Noob, you have the option to jump or block the slide, um, coming in, and it doesn't go full screen, like fucking Sub-Zero slide, and it's not as fast. Like there's there's so many reasons why Noob is a better design than Sub Zero, and you're not just and when Noob gets in you're not just guessing fifty fifty like that's 
that is definitely one of the bigger issues. Like, if Noob was given a 50-50, then yeah, I could see the argument. But the fact that he doesn't have a 50-50, he's a keep-out character, you can jump to punish it, unlike Sub-Zero Slide. Um, I don't know. It's just a better design, in my opinion. But I'm sure there's people who argue with me because they prefer 50-50 characters over, over zoners, but fuck you. Like... I, I fucking hate 50... I Well, I don't hate 50-50 characters. I gotta stress that. I hate 50-50 characters with bullshit neutral like this. So anyway, I'm done.